Well, it's Friday. That means uh, it's a pretty quiet day in Washington. It's not just any Friday. It's the Friday before a three-day weekend. So it's going to be extra quiet here in D.C. As people leave town to go somewhere for the three-day weekend. But not me, though. I'm just sticking around. I like to enjoy the quiet of D.C. on a Friday before a a three-day, a long weekend. It's nice. I like it. I just hope the lunch places are still open. Because here in downtown D.C., the uh, lunch places are closed early. They close at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. It's, it's about 2.30 now, so I hope if I can't find any, I'll just go to Subway. Subway's open till 6, so... So we'll see. Maybe I'll go to the Wawa. A lot of offices for lease closed here in downtown DC. A lot of people are working with them. This, this used to be the passport office. Let me show you the passport office. See that? that fenced up area. This building. This used to be the uh, this used to be the passport office. You would go there to have your passport done really quickly. Like if it was an emergency and you needed a passport, you would go here to get your passport. But they have since moved about four blocks this way on 19th Street, a little further out. But, uh, yeah. This is where I'm headed though, a long way. Let's go to the wall. This is the wall. Maybe, let's see. <laughs> Too bad, let's see. Okay, bye everybody. Let's go get some more. Alright, uh, first thing I check is the soup. So there's one soup that I like. Uh, soup. Uh, this is what I like. Chicken corn chowder. Which one is it? This one? Or this one? Or this one? Chicken corn chowder, that's what I like. You can order that. And I order like a... Like a medium size. Yeah, just a medium size. Okay. Next. Okay, welcome to the Wawa, everybody. I'm just... Waiting for my order. It's a quiet day at the Wawa. It's really pretty busy here. Today, Friday, three day weekend. Wow. Got me a Mountain Dew. And I'm waiting for my order. Oh, cool. Just in the time of Nick. Here's the chicken, a cream soup. That's my that's my favorite here at Wawa. I like this stuff. As you can see, it's creamy. It's got chicken. It's got corn. And I gotta dig into this right now. Let's do it. There's the second part of my lunch: meatballs. These are nice meatballs. I mean, they, they gave me one, two, three, three meatballs. All right, that was lunch at Wawa today. Now let's go back. It's a quiet day for a three-day weekend, as I said earlier. Looking forward to the three-day weekend. Time to relax and 
do some chores around the house. A few things I need to do. I need to install some new cable equipment. And uh, yeah, I need to clean, I need to install some new cable equipment and I need to uh, meet a few people that I had sold uh, that bought some of my stuff on Marketplace. So that's what I need to do. I also need to see a few things that I bought on Marketplace, like a like a book, uh, like a dresser, because I need one. I've been looking for one for a couple weeks now. So I need one. There's something going on here. They're investigating this car. See, they're looking for evidence. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to check. Uh, I'm going to have to check the report to see what what they're investigating here. I mean, we've got media here too. There's a camera back there somewhere, and traffic is backing up, as you can see. Traffic is backing up. See, there's a camera right there. Media, for some reason, they're investigating this car here. I don't know why. They're investigating that car for some reason. I didn't see anything on Pulse Point. See, they closed down the whole street. This is Rhode Island Avenue. There's St. Matthew's Church. And they closed down this whole street to investigate this one car. So to wrap up uh, shooting here in this area last night, about 4.35 a.m., one man dead and I think one person other, other person injured. And they're looking for three suspects in a white vehicle. Could it be this white vehicle here? I don't know, white vehicle. A lot of white vehicles. There's another white vehicle there. But they're wrapping up the uh, the crime scene. Looks like they have the whole street blocked off, and this this is the car being investigated right there. And I see that they've uh, blocked off the whole street here. Looks like they're they got homicide detectives over there doing their detecting. This is the suspect car or the victim's car. Over there. They have the whole street blocked off. But they're wrapping up, as you can see. Wrapping up. Taking all the police tape, backing it up. Here's the uh, active investigation right here. A couple of homicide cops, I guess. Yep. Yeah. I've been meaning to replace my, <clears throat> my uh, dresser in my bedroom with a bigger one because I've just got so much stuff and I've been looking everywhere as much as possible I don't want to buy an expensive new one if I could find like a used one you know on marketplace or in one of these stores that sell used remanded furniture that's what I'll do because I don't want to have to buy a new one expensive new one so we'll see this weekend I'll look at a few and uh, I'll take it home. Anyway, this is uh, this is 18th and M. Straight up ahead is DuPont Circle. We're not going to DuPont Circle, we're going back this way. That's Connecticut Avenue out there. So we'll go to Connecticut Avenue. Cross Connecticut Avenue and um, go where we need to go. Ah, I missed the light. Now I'm going to have to wait here. Alright, I guess we'll just wait here. Wait for the light. Oh, about 175 pounds. <coughs>
doors opening, step back to allow customers to Welcome to Metro Center, everybody. This is a pretty busy station. This is a major station where no less than four metro lines meet. The red line, blue line, the orange line, and the silver line. All meet here at the uh, at Metro Center. So it's a pretty busy, it's a pretty busy metro station. Right now we're transferring from we're transferring from the red line to either the blue, orange, or silver line, going back into downtown. But you're wondering why, why I'm going home and I'm going back into downtown. That's the way it is. Sometimes to go home, you have to go back. No, oh, train's coming. How do you know the train's coming? Because the lights are flashing. When the lights are flashing, that means the train is approaching. Pretty busy station. This is the lower level. This is where the blue, orange, and silver lines converge. I mean, here comes the train now. There's the blue line. I can take any line, really. I'm just doing one stop. Let's take this line right here. Take this line here. This is the blue line train to Marco Doors opening on the left. Alright, this is our stop. Federal Triangle. Just wait for the doors to open. Let's go. Let's go. Escalator's right here, which is very convenient. The escalator is right where, right outside the door where you stop. It's very convenient. Look, what's going on with this escalator? Really loud. Anyway. Welcome to Washington, everybody. We gotta go upstairs to Federal Triangle. There's still a lot of tourists around, although not as much as in the summertime because all the kids are back in school. In the summertime, this place is loaded with tourists. But when the kids go back into school and, uh, you know, the number of tourists die down. Ugh. But I have to go. I can't dilly dally around. I gotta. I gotta hurry because I gotta catch my bus. I think there's only like five minutes left to catch my bus, and it takes about that amount of time to get to the bus stop. Welcome to Federal Triangle, everybody. Well, look at what we have here. It's a big turbofan engine. Belongs on a big jumbo jet. Turbofan, see that? You don't want to get caught in there while it's spinning. See ya? Yeah, I don't know why it's on display. Big general electric turbofan. Uh, yeah. 
right here at Federal uh, Federal Plaza. I don't know why. Anyway, it's here, so I thought I'd take a video of it. Behind this truck is the big turboprop engine. I don't know what it's doing here. Here at the Ronald uh, Reagan building. This is the Ronald Reagan building right here. Yeah. Woodrow Wilson Plaza. And this is the William Jefferson Clinton building. So three presidents are represented in this area. Woodrow Wilson, Ronald Reagan, and Bill Clinton. And a big turbo, turbo prop, turbofan engine over there. This is the William Jefferson Clinton building. It's the Clinton building. Named after Bill Clinton, of course. Yeah, this is the uh, Bill Clinton building. Named after Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. All right, I think I have a few minutes. Until the bus gets here. Hopefully I can catch it. If I, uh, <clears throat> If I haul ass, I should be able to catch it. Passing through Federal Triangle. That's the old Trump Hotel, formerly the Trump Hotel. Now it's the, now it's the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Uh oh, we got a lot of tour groups. tourists and families and all that. That's Constitution Avenue straight up ahead. And if you go one block further you'll be at the mall. No, not the shopping mall. The National Mall. This is where all the Smithsonian Museum is to the left. That's the uh, that's the Museum of Natural History, and over to the right is the Museum of American History. And we got a lot of food trucks here. Okay. Oh, looks like I don't know. I'll check to see if my I'll check and see if my uh, my bus is on schedule here. Usually, it's about here by now. Let me check. All right. Eight at a time. I, I got five minutes until the bus gets here. I kind of like to hang around here and relax a little bit. Yeah. Less than time. You can see there's a lot of food trucks lined up here. A lot of food trucks. Well, usually they're parked over by Constitution, but, but uh, sometimes they get towed, so they move over here. The side street. The next day. Welcome back to Washington, everyone. It's lunchtime again. I'm going down to the Chipotle today. Chipotle. I haven't been to the Chipotle in a while because last time I was there, they kind of chewed me out for taking too many napkins. So hopefully, when I go in there, they won't remember me as the guy who took too many napkins. Oh, they're doing something to you. Oh, wow. Bring it down the uh, kind of crane. What's going on there? Anyway, Chipotle's over here. Let's go get the Chipotle. This is the Shake Shack. Sometimes I eat here at the Shake Shack. Okay, sorry about that. I got a call. Anyway, sometimes I eat here at the Shake Shack. Not today. Today I'm eating at the Chipotle. And hopefully, don't remember me that's the guy who took too many napkins uh, oh man I think it's oh, that's not even on this block it's on the next block well here's the chipotle oh the entrance is over here oh there aren't too many people Chipotle Mexican grill let's see bowl chicken and uh, corn let's do it 
Bon appétit. The next day. Welcome back to Washington, everybody. It's getting cold. Yeah, fall is definitely here. It's about 63 degrees right now outside. It's cold. Yeah, well, you know. Such is the cycle of life, weather, here in our nation's capital. It's lunchtime once again. So today I'm about to have lunch at this place where I have lunch sometimes, but I usually I usually eat pizza there. Today I'm going to try their burgers. They also have burgers there. I wanted to get a Five Guys burger, but it's just too far. It's a little cheaper at Five Guys because I have a I have a gift card, but it's a little closer over here. I'm gonna try their burger. Right, welcome to Italian gourmet. Here to have a burger. Here's the burger right here. Oh, there it is, everybody. This is called the cheesy. The cheesy burger. Cheesy. burger. As you can see, I'm a, I'm a very messy eater. I need a lot of napkins when I eat.